Now, this next one I'm going to show you is something I've been working on for a little bit. The only problem with it is I haven't decided which way I really want to go with that. And what I mean by that is, it's done with a half a dollar. Now, I'm not sure if I wanted to use the half a dollar. Because if I wanted to use the half a dollar, now everybody knows what a half a dollar looks like. Or if I wanted to use a Chinese coin. See, the problem with it is if I wanted to use a Chinese coin or a half a dollar. If I use the Chinese coin, nobody will recognize it. And if I use the half a dollar, it works much better. But if I use the Chinese coin, a lot of people will say, well, I've never seen one of those before. How do I know that's real? So I decided to go with the trick with the half a dollar. It makes it a whole lot better and a whole lot easier to do it with than the, half a than the Chinese coin. But I can't do the trick with just one half dollar. I need more than one. And I just happen to have some more in my pocket. I have some more right here. We're going to lay those out. I'm going to show you. We have a half dollar there. A half dollar there and a half a dollar there. Four half dollars. And as a matter of fact, we'll get some cards. In the box. In the box. Oh, I did think in the box. And we're just going to take four of these cards here. Four of the cards. Doesn't really matter what cards they are. Two, three, four. But we're going to show you something amazing with these cards. And something that's pretty neat. Watch. I'm going to cover over the cards one at a time. Coins are right there, nothing else in my hands here like this. Now, I'm going to make these coins jump around. And what I mean by that is, I'm going to make this coin jump over to here, and then the rest of the coins jump over to there, and the whole thing like this. Watch. If I go like this real slow, and I go like that, you see it go? Yeah. Watch, here comes the hard part. I put it back. No, really, I did put it back. <laughs> see, a lot of people think, oh, John, you didn't put it back. No, I really did put it back. Oh, that's not much of a trick. <laughs> I understand what you're thinking. But watch. If I actually do take it like this and flip it over there like this, look what happens. The coin actually does jump over there. That's pretty neat when you can do it like that. That is. The coin actually jumps over there like that. Now watch. If I take this one over here, I will get rid of that. Now watch. If I take this one over here and I do that, look what happens. It jumps right over there very magical, very easily like this. Like that there, like this. And watch. The last one, we'll let it go. We'll let you hear it. Here we go. Like that jump right over there, very magical, all four of the coins. Jump over there, just like that. Ooh. But this really didn't happen. No, it didn't. You're thinking that, wait a minute, these coins jumped over here like this, and that's really magical. It's never really happened. Matter of fact, I'm going to reverse time back to the beginning of when I first started. No, really. <laughs> Let me show you what I mean. First of all, We'll take the first card here, and we'll lay it down exactly the same way we had it when we first started it. We'll take the next card here, and we'll lay it down exactly the same way when we first started it. Now I'm reversing the time frame, the time frame of when this cards or when the cards did. Well, let me close this up because I show I forgot I showed you each one as we did it. So let me cover that up there. So there, but we have the cards there. Oh, and I got to put that one down there. Now watch. I'm going to do it real slow. I'm going to rewind it. Mm -hmm. You see that? Watch. The first one is gone. It went back to the beginning, right where we started from. Now I only have three. One, two, three. Watch. I'm going to go real slow. I covered up the cards every time I did it. Watch. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to cover up the cards. Or, I mean, I'm sorry. Cover up the coins. And I'm going to go real slow and do that again. No, it really did, but another one went. This time I'm going to let you see it actually happen as it goes. We have the coin here like this. Watch. I'll actually take the coin, and I'll put it into my hand. Well, oh, that's right. Yeah, I take the coin. Sorry, this is new, so. I take the coin, I put it in my hand. Yeah. I can't remember what I did. This is brand new, so I'm still learning it. Take the coin, put it in my hand. Oh. Give it like this. Is it like that? Uh, anyways, it doesn't matter. I was going to do something else with it, but I was going to make it float and then go over to there. So that kind of works. Okay. Like that. Oh, yeah. Put that down. 
And then the last one, we're going to use the last coin. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to do anything tricky with it. I'll just put it in my hand and I'll put that one here like this. Like this. And I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute. There's no way all four coins. But look, all four of them go back to the way it was when we first started it. Something right there. Back to the beginning. Back to the original. Back to the way it was when we first started. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll get rid of these guys. 